almost 500 sessions at Next 2018, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see serverless on Google Cloud, what's new then? Stay tuned because here's a rewind. Serverless technology continues to innovate in the cloud native space, where that platform takes away all the complexity that comes with handling the lower level infrastructure so you get to focus on what matters, your code. In this talk, we'll discuss all the new and exciting changes since last year. First, we start with an announcement that GCP has updated the base image for serverless offerings to Ubuntu 18.04, which gives access to a broader set of system libraries and also enables some new capabilities for the product I write documentation for, App Engine, who is celebrating its 10th birthday this year. Originally shipped in 2008 with support for only Python, this year App Engine rolls out its second generation runtimes, giving you access to Node.js 8, Python 3.7, and PHP 7.2. And while App Engine is celebrating its longevity, Google Cloud Functions is celebrating its first year with a whole set of announcements. First, Cloud Functions is now available for all developers, making it production ready and even provides an SLA. Along with that, is support for more regions, scaling controls so you can put an upper limit on the number of instances of a function, and languages, including Node 11 and Python 3.7, both of which contain common features like logs, exceptions, error reporting, and alerts, all through Stackdriver. Another great new GCF feature is environment variables, specific key value pairs that are bound to a single function but don't exist inside your source code. You set them at deploy time, and they'll be injected as literal environment variables at execution time. Continuing with the updates, GCF now has Cloud SQL direct connection support, as well as access and IAM support through VPC interconnect to a network. Control access to function invocation using IAM on the invocation. You can assign a role of invoker to a particular user, allowing you to define who can kick off which functions. Great for function-to-function -function use cases. Now, something I'm really excited about is the availability of a new tool, Cloud Scheduling, which allows you to schedule HTTP PubSub tasks down to one minute intervals, invoke GCF over HTTP PS, and invoke App Engine on relative URL. You can start setting up timers for events we want to happen, like cron jobs. For more information on all these updates, including a few live demos of the technology and a top secret product release, Check out the full video linked in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Google Cloud Platform YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. 